Things will get better soon. Things will be better soon. If you follow where you should go, things will get better soon. Oh, Lord, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. How y'all doing out there today, family? Anybody that you know that suffers from depression or any other kind of um, emotional, uh, how should I say? emotional sadness give them a hug today tell them that you love them today and that you're thinking about them you know there's a lot of people at the beginning of the year it just does something to them you know and on so many levels and while some of them have experienced a lot of heartache and loss whatever it is it exasperates their depression their depressional state their um our uh, ability to reason sometimes. So, I'm saying if you're dealing with somebody like that in your life, be patient. Um, try to keep yourself healthy and realize that uh, there's no fun carrying so much baggage. It, it, it really cannot be. And But God still sits on the throne. And when I say that, I mean the throne of my heart. Or the throne of my dome, as they say. But this was a story that I just had to share because when you know, this is the mental health. And the reason why I say that is because with this due to this thing that's going around and a lot of people, you know, feeling depression and other kind of uh sadness, this man says he can't stop his brain from thinking of hearing his kids saying, Stop, mammy, what are you doing? And that's the father whose wife killed their three children while suffering from depression. Says he is haunted by his son's last word. And that right there is going to be one of the most difficult things that he's going to have to live through. Um, is the mother, she's a nurse. Of course, she's 44. or She was found not guilty by reason of insanity. And this father is left behind with a haunting memory that his wife, she smothered Connor, Dara, and Carla to death in 2020. So, you know, all this, he was saying how she was, the, the you know, the COVID, the being on lockdown, all these things, all these things attributed to, you know, just her, her behavior. So like I said, it's a lot of us out here. It's a lot of us out here who um, need to get in touch with somebody. If you can't do it by a person, that's fine. Don't. Maybe, you know, shoot them an email or get somebody to check on them and say, you know, how, how is it? Because this woman killed all of her children. And she's found not guilty by reasonable insanity. And if somebody would have probably caught her uh, before, maybe those children would still be alive today. If somebody would have took her uh, depression more serious or just got away from her or my children at least got my children away from her or actually had her committed. Because for the, those babies to have lost their lives. Ah. Uh, all three of them she didn't get did away with. And it's so sad. Oh my God. He said he cannot stop hearing the final words of Connor who cried, Mommy, stop, stop. What are you doing? As she placed a bag on his head. He told the police in an interview. Mr. McGilly, who worked for a workplace services company, told the mirror, with regard to Deidre, I struggle a lot because all I hear is Connor's last words. They resound in my head quite a lot. That is horrible. 
This is a horrible story. And such a good case to let y'all know that this sh is crazy all over the world. This this reset of society. Um, somebody's, some of us are going to survive and some of us are not. I aim to get to the other side because I aim to heal completely and be on the lookout for these signs and knowing if I have to push them away from me and knowing if I have to uh, have these this committed or whatever it is, I have to be ready to release it. So he says, I, I, I know, so, you know, there's no future, I suppose, with myself and D. It can never be normal for either of us. I know I've changed as a person completely. If I can help her treatment team or legal team in any way, I'm happy to do so. She knows that as well. If she is released, that's their decision. I'm not the professional. It's something I've given a detailed thought to. But I think there's a road to recovery for her. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, and maybe his process, you know, uh, of, of releasing. I mean, because there's nothing you can do when she's killed your children. But I know I will be wanting to get as far away from her as possible. If I have to move to another country, I don't think that'd be far away enough. Anyway, um, rest in peace, little children. They were killed by their mother who was suffering from depression. Well, the story is so hideous that I, I can't I can't even do it. It's too crazy. So with that being said, y'all check on somebody. Tell them that you love them. Everybody out there under the sign of my voice know that I love you. And I'm praying for you. And I hope that you're praying for me. Alright. Let's get busy y'all. And let's watch each other. Let's be our brother's keepers. I'll see you in the next video.